guys. If your lawnmower won't start when you turn the key, it makes that clicking noise. Odds is it's your solenoid, but I'm finna show you a trick. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Papa All's Place. As always, if this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. Feel free to drop in anytime you feel, my friend. If you'll hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, you'll learn all kind of tricks like this by watching Papa All's Place. So here we have an old Cub Cadet that I use just to pull around out here with a trailer and stuff. Well, the solenoid's bad on it. A lot of times the solenoids will be up under the hood right here and they're easy to get to. But this one here is mounted up under this fender system, whatever you want to call it here, the metal fenders. Well, they're back here on the back. And it's kind of hard to get to and hard to change. But for the time being, till I get a chance one day to get one and put on there, I'm going to show y'all how I've been cranking it and what you can do. You can just get you a little short piece of cable here that's long enough to reach from your battery, whether your battery is here or your battery is up here under the hood. Whatever length you need to go from the battery to the starter. Now I'm gonna get y'all up here and show you close. We gonna hook this right here on the hot battery post. And you find your starter right here on the edge of your motor and there's a red wire coming to it. Make sure your key's on and touch this wire to that screw that goes into that starter. That's how easy it is to crank your lawnmower. But there's you a tip of the day, guys. Now, I will say, if you ain't got no safety features disconnected like the safety switch where you have to sit in the seat to crank it or you have to push the clutch in most of them you can push the clutch in you can lock it down but if you got a safety switch on your seat you may have to get somebody to sit on your seat now that's why i bypass all my safety switches on my seat i ain't never liked them you'd be mowing and going raise up to do something, your lawnmower go dead and all that kind of stuff. Every time I get a lawnmower, that's the first thing I bypass. I go on and tell you, some of them you can just unplug, but some of them you gotta unplug and take a piece of wire and make a jumper wire to fool it to make it think somebody's sitting on the seat. But anyway, guys, I hope that helps some of you out out there. Your lawnmower's clicking when you wanna crank it. Won't do nothing to make that clicking noise. You can hear it back here clicking on the solenoid. But like I said, to change this one, it's just it's too aggravating. Now, when they mount them up there, it's a minor of two minutes you can change one out. Or if it's mounted up there, that's the trick. If you can get to it real easy with a screwdriver, you can just cross the post out and fire it up. I got a video of me showing how I crank my tractor like that before. I attach a bug. But as always, guys, I hope this helps somebody out. I'll stop back in any time. See y'all next time.